Hey everybody, what's up? Madman here and welcome to Rainbow Six. This is Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. So, obviously sharing the same name as the novel, but here is the, oh uh, yeah, it's backwards because of the camera position I have this in. But yes, it's Rainbow Six, not Rainbow Six Siege, not any of the Ghost Recon games, this is Rainbow Six. Fun little fact, this game, Rainbow Six was actually uh, one of the first games I ever played that it was like I started to understand like okay each system you play th this game on it may be the same game It's just it may be presented differently like the n64 cut. It was actually the very first Rainbow Six game I ever played I do have it over there But I don't know maybe I'll kind of like do go back and forth being like this is PlayStation cut and this is n64 cut and trust me You'll see the difference, but this was like the first game like tactical like Counterterrorism game I ever played in my life not the PlayStation Cup, but the N64 Cup, but I wanted to play this cut first because I never fully played it. But this game was also brought over to the PC and Dreamcast, but I never touched those nor have I ever seen them. But I've only seen but I've seen the PlayStation and the N64. But uh, another reason why I'm doing uh, Rainbow Six is well you'll see a little while later on YouTube and Twitch, but still. I wanted to play this game just because get myself ready for some uh counterterrorism plus take a break from uh papers please as well as legend of zelda kind of like get out of the fantasy or the despotonian estraska area and let's go into the world of rainbow six for if tom clancy may he rest in peace but they're still making plenty of uh tom clancy games though so okay so yeah now guys this is a playstation game so the video quality might be a little Ah, oh, that sound. But yeah, but this, again, guys, is a PlayStation game, so the graphics are probably going to be pretty hard to look at. So just as a little bit of a heads up. You've been warned. Jeez. I think that... Oh, Red Storm. Yep, this was way back in the day, ladies and gentlemen, before Ubisoft took over. Hey, Rebellion! Hey, it's, I think it's... Are those the same people who made the Sniper Elite games? The year is 1999. The Cold War has been over for more than a decade. And for the first time in a half century, the world is free from the specter of nuclear apocalypse. It should be a time of peace and prosperity. But all over the globe, the embers of old animosities have been fanned into flame by the winds of freedom. Terrorism in the 21st century is an international industry. Money and expertise flow freely through the global computer nets, and every type of weapon imaginable computer is available nets. on the black market of the third world. It has become harder and harder for the security forces of individual nations to combat this threat to the safety of their people. What's needed is an organization with the resources and the authority to fight terrorism wherever it flourishes. It would be composed of the best and brightest counter-terrorism experts from every country and armed with state-of-the-art weapons and equipment. It would operate in absolute secrecy, its existence known only to the most senior government officials. It would attack swiftly and silently, cutting off the head of the Viper before it had a chance to strike. Or Hydra. Such an organization already exists. Its code name is Rainbow. I did say the graphics were going to be pretty bad, but back in the 90s, man, this was considered fucking intense. I actually remember back when I was in... Yeah, I was like... Controller set up, positioning... Oh my god, this is... Blood. Yeah, let's turn the blood on. Controller set up. Alright, let's see here. Crouch, there's a jump button. Oh god. Map team, reload, fire... Night vision, crouch, jump. Oh god, this is this auto aim is on. Oh boy. All right, sides, forward, sides, left, turn left. Okay, look up, look down, operate and talk. Look up, sniper, center view, sniper mode. Oh boy, I can't crouch. Then weapon, change weapon. Yeesh. Oh boy, just looking at this, I know I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be in trouble. <laughs> First few missions are probably gonna be pretty bad. But luckily I'm not training for SAS. <laughs> oh boy. 
Okay, thank God the music's not coming back on. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Back to the menu. Uh, we don't need training. We know what we're doing. We don't know what we're doing. Let's do this on easy, just so. Yeah. Cause it's me. All right. Operation Steelwind, Belgian Embassy, London. All right. Server so February seventh. I'm gonna assume 1999. I know this a lot of this stuff sounds primitive like on those webs and it's just like all that stuff it's like this was the 90s guys this the internet was kind of just I mean okay it was around in the government for a while but this was just more like it was just it was starting to become a huge thing all right so do I give up do I get a briefing on what I'm supposed to do first or all right I'm assuming that these are photos or screw oh my god <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Move to the category, press X to see the briefing. You will find specific objectives under orders. All right, what do we got here? Category, Intel, selective. All right, all right. John Clark. Organizations, choose, oh, I see, I got, oh, I see here. All right, John Clark. Commander Rainbow Team, Counterterrorism Team, American, no information available on date or place of birth, education, military. I guess John Doe was busy that weekend. Since 1970, he's been working for American Central oh, CIA. Details on all CIA are sealed. Of course it is. It's a CIA. Has a wife, Sandra, and two daughters, Maggie and Patricia. Okay. Organizations, Free Europe. Free Europe, British terrorism organization opposed to... In integration of the United Kingdom into the European Union according to according to documents recovered by the police their agendas call for the deportation of all immigrants of non-European ancestry and a national policy of strict economic and cultural isolationism hmm all right rainbow we know who these guys are but free so a British terrorist organization okay okay of course again guys this is fictional this is from uh, the book rainbow six so European Union. The European Union colonists of 15 countries, Australia, wait, oh wait, no, Austria. It's place, no, ladies and gentlemen, plus my phone's going off a lot. I'm sorry, are you recording? Hold on a sec. Two hours later. Okay. All right. All right, back. Austria, Belgium, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Ireland, Italy, Luxembourg. I think that's Luxembourg. The Netherlands, Portugal, Spain, Sweden, and the United Kingdom. It is based on a series of treaties drawn up between the major European powers in the years following World War II. And it, now the United Kingdom is trying to leave the European Union. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, roster. All right. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, is there anything else? Command. Orders. What are my orders? The Belgian ambassador is hiding in an office on the second floor and has so far avoided capture by the terrorists. All other embassy workers may have also been trapped inside. Surveillance indicates terrorists on all three floors of the complex. One, rescue the ambassador. Got it. Save the one guy. <laughs> what about the other people? Ah, fuck them. All right, move. All right, command. Looks like we've got our first real job. I don't have to tell you that we're going under the microscope on this one. Only if, if, if we blow it the first time out, they may just shut us down. Steel win early. Okay, here we go. Operation Steel win. Earlier this evening, armed members of the terrorist organization known as Free Europe seized control of the Belgian embassy in London. Your mission is to retake the embassy with minimal civilian casualties. Terrorists? No. How? <laughs> Open fire. So it's pretty much almost like the almost like the Iranian embassy, which pretty much brought the SAS to to the light. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So I'm assuming. All right. So here we go. Health, firearms, can okay, so yeah, we'll bring Bogart, uh, Bruckheimer, Chavez, Burke, Blatoff. Wait, can I? Can I? Oh, I can swap. No, all right, yeah, we'll bring Chavez. Chavez, ready? I can't, man. PlayStation graphics is kind of hard to see on this screen, ladies and gentlemen, so I might have to look back and forth just so I can see. His name is can't pronounce it. Hmm. All right, so it looks like we got everybody ready. All right, sign operator for each color using the directional stick. All right, all right, all right, everybody. Urban medium. I think don't we get to oh, urban breach, urban light. Yeah, we'll go with that. Let's see here. Oh, is this for each person? 
assigned to all. Okay. Let's see. What kind of weapons we got beside? Well, MP5 is pretty good. Did I just freeze the game? Okay. No. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> okay. You know what? Let's bring the MP3, MP, ah, MP5 sounds. It's a good weapon that I've always used in a lot of Call of Duty games. All right. Pistol. The Beretta. What else do we got? Sounds Beretta. You know what? Sounds Beretta. Grenades. Uh, flashbangs. Heartbeat sensor. Lockpick kit. Extra mags. You know, yeah, let's bring extra mags. Let's not, let's not bring grenades. We got civilians in the area, for God's sakes. All right, assigned to all. Awesome. Wait, no. I want that. Extra mags. All right. Oh, I see how to assign all. Oh, all right, do that. Uh, that's the other thing about learning about these games. It's just kind of like you gotta learn how to go old school. All right, awesome. All right, we got urban uniform, medium. All right, insertion. All right. Oh, okay, so we got fixed points. All right, we'll have one guy on the roof. We'll have one guy come through the door there. Yeah, all right, cool. Kind of just kind of like triangle, just kind of crushing on him. Okay, we'll talk at home. All right. <laughs> busy day, guys. It's been a busy week. Trust me. Especially taking... Oh, yeah. Wait, did I remember to tell you? To... Oh, yeah. All right. I don't know if I forgot to tell you. I remember because this is actually take two. But, yes. Before we jump into Operation Steel Wind, uh, recently my wife and I, we brought in a stray cat. So, we've been taking care of him. He was very malnourished, but he's luckily eating and drinking now and gaining weight. So, we've been taking care of him as well as... We have a, a cat previously, so we wanted to see how they were... When they first met, they were there was hissing, but now luckily they're they're just more of tolerating each other. So and also we were trying to find a place to possibly surrender him. We've been dealing with phone calls, so yeah, it's been it's been a hectic week, ladies and gentlemen. Not to mention also uh, yesterday I had actually a phone interview with Tesla. So a lot of crazy stuff's been going down, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, back to the mission. All right, finish. The, all right, let's do this. I have no idea how this this is gonna now I did play this game once very very long ago just to play for it so let's just say multiple years of Call of Duty is about to pay off five mags Yeesh. all right oh my god that ladies and gentlemen what you're seeing there's no like transition it's like frame frame oh Jesus Okay, so I'm on the roof. Oh god, it's inverted. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, no. Is there a way I can... Controls. Is there any way I can possibly... Uh, look up. Uh, vib let's see. Sound options. Uh, you know what? Let's turn the music volume. There we go. Not screen controls. Oh man, please don't tell me I can't. Uh... Nope, I'm gonna have to get used to. It's basically like I'm flying. Oh man, this is gonna be bad. I think they know I'm here. I'm just saying, because, you know. Um, how do I interact? <sighs> I'm going to be doing this a lot, ladies and gentlemen. I am so sorry. All right, let's see your turn. Uh, night vision, fire, change weapons, train value, da, da, da. operate slash talk, sniper, center view. Let me turn auto aim off. Maybe I'll stop. Auto run toggle, center view, sniper, da, 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 previous one. There's, it looks like there's not really much of a, like a, like a interact. Whoa! Night vision. That's not gonna do. I got a sniper rifle with a fucking uh, MP5, so. First mission how to open the door. Shoot the door! 
Got it. I didn't know this guy was American. Shoot everything. Oh. Yes. That happened. Uh, okay, let me fall. Thank you. Alright, I really don't want this guy to die on... Man, he was... Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this was considered bloody and violent back then. It looks like a poo stain on the ground. Again, how do I... No, I don't want the sniper. No. I run on up. I don't want to shoot the door. Nope. Seriously? Oh, it's R3s to open doors? Wow, this is... Man, I don't want to say it's bulky, but damn. Haha, <laughs> kneecapped you. Whoa! Down. <laughs> I'm sorry, was it like three frames for death? It's like, ah! Oh god, this is so clunky. Did I get him? No, I don't think I got him. Reload. Ladies and gentlemen, the slowest reload I've ever seen in my history. This was considered a bed. A blue block with some lines. Come on out, Mr. I feel like odd job right now. I'm just shooting everybody in the kneecap. Well, I mean, we are playing on easy, so. Mr. VIP, I'm not here to kill you. Matter of fact, I'm actually here to make your job easier. Wait, how am I going to make his job easier? If you think under the amount of stress and everything I'm going to be doing, this guy's going to be losing his mind. And yes, I know this is pretty painful to look at, ladies and gentlemen, but this is... <laughs> it's so painful to look among the dead. These people which are fighting for their country just to for a free Europe. No, it's just painful to look at just because of a, it's an old 1990s game. I'm being played on a... It's just an old 1990s game being played on a 2020. Wait, wait, wait. So it's 19... Shit, this game is really old. <laughs> Allow me to date myself even further. Oh, I saw you. Excuse me, good sir. I saw you. May I shoot you? I swear, it's just the the, the 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 deaths are just hilarious. It's just like, it's like from Mighty Python when the animator dies. It's just. Did they mention how many enemies were in this building? Because I know we're supposed to extract the hostage, but if we just kill all the enemies in the building, you think that would be more than enough? How many terrorists do you think would you need to take down? Uh, take I don't want to say take over a building, but take down everybody. But oh well, let's see. Yes, this was truly a very tough barricade. Oh shit. It's multiple years of Call of Duty, ladies and gentlemen. It's paying off. I mean, okay, I could always stand up. Probably would work a lot better, but, you know, stealth. Now, if I were an ambassador, where would I hide? Wait, I came from here. Yep, I came from here, so. How many bodies was that? I lost track. Like seven or something? I'm not counting. I tried to do that with a, a previous uh, game, Fear, to count how many bodies because there was actually an achievement in Fear that if you killed every single enemy in the game, you got it unlocked. But the problem is, well, the enemies could sometimes lock doors and go despawn, which kind of ruins it all. So you really got to act fast. But uh, right now... Oh, bollocks.
Really? That was what they barricaded the front door with? Okay, I, I, I need to take a look at this first. Was that a coyote? I mean, I know we're in London, but I think... Uh... Jeez, man, you really gotta... Don't tell me he's not react. He didn't react to it. It could just be a dog. Oh shit! Yes, yes. The terrorist's true weakness, the shin. Yeah, that's not synced up. I thought it would break. Okay, so they put a, just like a china cabinet in front of a, the front door. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not, a, as you can clearly tell, I'm not exactly a strong man, but I'm pretty sure maybe four or five trained police officers could probably push that thing over. Unless they locked the door, and then in that case it'd just be a waste of time. Or a breach charge. I mean, I'm just saying they could clearly, you know, they could clearly get that open. <laughs> the other members are just like, are we gonna be able to go in? Is one guy just literally just gonna be uh, fucking going full Rambo? Yeah, John Rambo. Yeah, we got John Rambo on our team. No, if we got Jam Rambo on our team, we'd just be here tons of screaming and gunfire. <laughs> Stealth is... <laughs> would be optional. Oh! Oh, shit! He's dead! Oh, God, he actually flatlined. Um... Okay. Okay, I actually feel bad about that. I actually want to reset that. I actually feel bad. Wait, is this going to be a permanent thing where if they're dead after the, we abort the mission, that... KIA. Okay, let's actually see if... Because uh, cause that would suck. Because, I mean, shit, that was more painful than XCOM. New campaign, yes. Okay, so I guess, yeah, it's like XCOM. Shit. Oh, boy. Oh uh, boy. Okay, so this can't. So of course. Okay, so yeah, I didn't even know that guy. Shit, <laughs> I didn't know him. Okay, yeah. So we already know what's going on. Uh, we'll swap you out with him. Yeah, this was a. All right. Uh, yeah, let's bring a lockpick kit. There we go. Uh, all right, um, Chavez, we'll have you at the front door. You know what? Yeah, there we go. One through the door, through the sides. I don't like the roof. All right, hold on a sec. All right. But yeah, wow. Guy gets killed in the first mission. It's it's XCOM, ladies and gentlemen. So if I can't customize the characters, too bad. I'm pretty sure they're probably characters from the book. I never read the book. But, okay, so no going around, just going, you know, you know, hunting. Whoa, mother of jur! I have no idea why I meant jur. Maybe it was like a common, like a like holy dur or g. I don't know. Jur. I invented a new word, ladies and gentlemen. Jur. The jury's out. There we go. The jury's out. I shit myself. Oh crap! I didn't bring the extra mag, so I got shit. All right, we gotta look for that guy. We gotta get in, get out, and then let the police handle up the rest. Actually, that brings up a good question. If I actually go in and actually find 
the actual ambassador. Well, like, if I find the actual ambassador, what, like, what happens if there's enemies in there? Do we just tell them that they're surrounded and their hands up and we just had a standoff for a while? Or does it turn into Rainbow Six Siege and we just send a team... Yeah, by the way, guys, moving the analog sticks, it's like, I have to be like... Whoa. I don't know if that's a hit or not. I, I think it was like... It just means like it reflected off something. Oh, shit! Oh, well, there's a toilet there. I'll just shit my pants over there. Quick question. How do I actually change characters? Oh, that's how I do it. Ah! So I have to... So... I don't know if this counts as the pause button. I mean, I got a feeling it ain't, but... Jeez. Ladies and gentlemen, see, this is another reason why I always choose to press weapons. And this room must have been storage. With a very lovely view. <laughs> the view is your death. That sounded wrong. Justice. That's what your view is. Justice. Uh, oh, that's my guy. Jeez. Is he wrapped in tinfoil? Yeah, our armor is made by Reynolds. <laughs> Reynolds wrap. Supplying tinfoil and body armor for counter-terrorists. Shit, 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 shit. Shit! Not flashbangs. No, just me? Alright. Come on, the third floor's gotta be clear by now. Not to be this guy, but... Oh! I think you're the ambassador. Whose face is clearly coming forward. Follow me. Okay, I think the mission... I think every time like the level difficulty increase also gives you more objectives. Is the guy following me? Oh, jeez. He may be an ambassador, but he takes very good care of himself. All right. Mission complete. We got the ambassador outside. Ambassador, uh, face forward. Yes, there. Mission successful. All right, send the rest of the military in to kill everybody. <laughs> Mission complete. So this is kind of like, if you want to make the game longer, you can, or plan ahead. I used to have the strategy guide for this game, too. All right, took four minutes and 40 seconds. Hmm. 51 rounds, hit. Wait, but nobody died. Good. Hanley, Chavez, and Bogart. You want to save this campaign now? Yes. There's no memory card present. Okay, shit. Um. Fuck. Hmm. This might be a little tough. Hold on a sec. Two hours later. Alright, there we go. There we go. No oh, shit. Step on the cord. Alright, I swapped out for the PlayStation 1 uh, memory card. So, hopefully... Alright. Hopefully it'll give us an option to save or something. Or we'll have to replay through the first mission again. I thought if I play it, put it in slot 2, it would work. Like... Alright. Operation t Cold Thunder. Cold Thunder, the Congo. Bongo, 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 I want to... Wait, I don't know if that's a song from Fallout that, that they're talking about. Save campaign. There we go. Scanning memory card. There we go. Saving. There we go. Da, 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 da. Save successful. All right. Cool.
You know what? We'll end it here because we were able to do that quickly. <sighs> but whew. Uh, even though I'm playing on easy, I still feel like this this playthrough is going to be tough just because it's the, it's PlayStation 1 controls on a PlayStation 2 controller on a computer from tw 2020. Oh, boy. <laughs> but all right, guys. I'm not going to lie. This is uh, pretty cool. I'm kind of glad I'm actually playing this game because I've been meaning to do this for quite a while. And trust me, guys, we're gonna. there's another... Uh, Tom Clancy game coming soon to this uh, show, so definitely stay tuned for that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you enjoyed, uh, enjoy live streams, be sure to follow us on Twitch. We do stream every Friday and Saturday, so check that out. All the, and also be sure to follow us on Twitter or Discord or both. The links are down below. Nothing else to say except, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm the Madman. We'll see you guys next time for more. Later!